What's up? In this video, I'm just gonna do a little instructional on a few things I see a lot of people having a hard time with that I had a hard time with when I, when I started doing turbo kits. And that's making a two into one merge out of aluminum pipe. And so what I normally do is, you know, most of the time it's like a 90 or something. So I've done a lot of cold air intakes that way with four inch pipe. So I start off with a 180. So you got a 180, I cut it in half, or start off with two 90s, either way. And then I take half the width, half the diameter, mark a center line, don't worry about that line. So we got an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter, two and a half, and then I can take it and bump the edge of the pipe against this line, and then start marking my center up, and then I'll cut it and then I'll fit it against here after I've already marked this one once I mark this one I cut this one first and then I'll slip this one over it and fit fit them until they're until this one touches the line and then once it's touched and everything looks good I'll go ahead and cut this one I got this one marked and cut. And this one's not gonna fit inside there perfectly until I cut this one. It's gonna line back up. Since they're the same diameter pipe, it's not gonna slip over the, the side of it. But what you'll do is just make sure that when you cut it, this is fairly level. You just line it back up with this. And then it's, it'll, it'll look like it's leaning in. You need to adjust it, but it's really just because the straight leg of it is, uh, it won't go over itself. So once you mark and cut, <coughs> cut this one, it'll, it should line up fairly well. This is what it should look like most of the time. Sometimes it screws up. So we're gonna take this, put it on this, right in between, right in between here, like this. We'll come down right here, do a little 45. Come up here and do a 45. That way they're both, this will be straight. And then from here, we'll merge into a three and a half go up into the throttle body, all of which I already have V-banded with the Vibrant HD clamps, real nice stuff. And so after it's welded out, what I'll do, because you don't want to restrict the volume of both two and a half inch outlets on the compressor housings to back to a two and a half inch here, you'll see a lot of uh, prefabricated ones people will buy and use. It'll be like a three, two and a half and two and a half, and it'll still be two and a half here, and then it'll neck up to the proper size. Well, that's your restriction. So a lot of people say you have to have linear footage of the same length for it to be uh, restrictive. So uh, just a little pinch here, and then steps up, won't restrict it. But I mean, if you think about it, it's got to, there's no other choice. So what I do is I take the proper size tubing that I'm gonna use, once it's welded together, I'll slip it up inside there. Well, after it's welded, of course, like I said. And then I just clamp down, I'll clamp the top straight down to the bottom. I'll make a mark 180 from each other, clamp it either in the vise or uh, with a C clamp, clamp it until it's this dimension, you know, two and a half wide but it'll spread this out this is three and a half inch tubing it'll spread it from three and a half a little bit wider and so it'll have to come down a little farther but it'll be a better smoother less restrictive uh transition
All right, got it welded up. It doesn't have to be welded all the way around or all the way to the end because this tube is gonna be welded on about right in there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pinch this one into an oval shape to just try to, it's like we're still hot, try to get it to fit right in this area. That way it has a, a good, nice transition. So just that easy, took the round three and a half inch tube, put it in my vise. You can see where I gave it a good squeeze and now it fits real nice. Be able to weld it up, no problem. And now you can see there's no real reduced area because you have where I'm gonna cut, I'll cut this Y, I'll make a mark right there all the way around, maybe come down inside of it just a little bit and uh, cut it all, cut it off, cut that leg off and weld it. So you, you can imagine from here, it's still two and a half. Then it's gonna open up immediately. There's no restriction. And, and unlike, you know, like I said, most of them will come all the way to a two and a half and then we'll have a transition from two and a half to whatever size they're going to, or if they're dual threes, it'll go to neck to a three and then transition up and then run a piece of straight for a little bit. So a lot of people use it, a lot of people make them, a lot of people have good success, but this is what I do. Got the piece cut. Fitted, fixing a welder out. We got her welded on. Looks fairly square. Well, to look all right. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good in the Mustang over here. Basically gonna be in that general area about like that. This one is gonna 45 or whatever angle that is. That one's gonna angle into there. And then it's gonna go straight back just a few inches. And then I'm gonna try to gauge it. So this throttle body comes straight and, and turns right into it. That way I don't have to come up and do two different bends but I believe it's gonna turn out uh, fairly nice. That's gonna be it for this little instructional video. Just wanna show how I made a two into one merge for cold sides and things of that nature. Sometimes I do it with uh, cold air intake pipes for naturally aspirated stuff. So just let me know what you think. Let me know what you wanna see me build or show a video of how to. Um, just let me know. We'll see y'all in the next one.